Hello, today we're going to create a website. It's going to be called Own Your Full Name, ownyourfullname.com. I think it's a really important thing for um, people to have their website and their personal brand and kind of own it. So if you are interested in creating a website that you own, that is tailored to you, your to your business, let's get started. First step, let's go to instantedit.com and then hit the register domain. I'll click on domain and hosting. And then let's say I'm gonna make up a name, Susan Smith Jones. I know that's already taken. So I'll make it Susan Smith Rogers. All right, Susan Smith Rogers is available. Um, you can also, like let's say it wasn't available, take a look at suggestions, like maybe using a .net. .org is an extension that is for nonprofits. So unless you are a nonprofit, I would suggest steering clear of that. And um, but there's other things. Dot X Y Z is really popular nowadays. Um, and depending on what you want to do, maybe dot me or dot um, store. I would highly recommend not doing like a like a dash or something like that. But as long as you can kind of play around with whatever name you need, um, you could just grab it right here. And then the second thing you're gonna need is hosting. So what is hosting? Hosting is just giving you space on a computer that puts the website on the internet. For example, this website right here is running locally on my computer and it's a fully functioning WordPress website with different pages and different about us pages, but this is great, But no one can see it outside of my website. In order for me to share with the outside world all this website that I created and that we'll create together, I need to first buy a domain name and then second, put that in a hosting server. So we're using WordPress. So click on hosting, WordPress, select a package. I'm going to go with this deluxe package right here. Um, you can purchase it for month to month. You can purchase it for a year, for a couple years, whatever works best for you. Now, if you have ever have any problems with your your website, your website needs any, you need some help. There's a 24 hour customer support here with Instant where you actually talk to someone live on the phone. That's one of my big problems with lots of hosting companies. They, your, your chat support, it's really hard to explain what challenges you're running into when you're talking to someone and chatting back and forth and waiting for them to get back to you when you're actually explaining, hey, my, you know, I'm having a problem on my site, this is not looking right, and someone can actually fix it, that's like really important. So that's why I go, that's why I think Instant Edit is what I recommend. All right, so now that you have selected one domain, which have, I honestly can be the really the hardest part is finding the right name and making sure it's a nice.com. A lot of them are taken, but there's a lot of that are available. So once you have the name and you have the hosting package and you um, set up, then you go into your dashboard, you create a username and password. Um, it's pretty simple stuff. Just create a username and password and make sure you write it down and remember it because you're going to need it to log in whenever you need to use your site. All right. Now I already have the name purchased and I already have my hosting set up. And so this is what it will kind of look like for you. you just click on here and go to your products and then select hosting. And you should see something like this. So let's get started. We're going to create a new site using WordPress. So create a website. 
So I want to start building a brand new website or I want to move an existing website. Now, if you are like me, I usually work locally um, and I prefer to do that. Um, and then I don't mind taking that extra step of creating the website locally and then moving it to the website. That would be this step. But for us, we're going to work on the website on the internet. All right. So this is this is the website to provide information, display my portfolio, probably. That's great. Okay, so now you're going to choose your name. For my, in my case, you know, like I said, I already did this. Um, own your full name is the name of the site. Pretty simple. Okay, so we have, there's servers all over, and uh, I recommend just picking a server that's closest to you. For me, it's North America. And I continue. Now, you can grab a theme here. I'm just going to use a blank template, but if you want it, if you like some of the templates that they that is provided here, and there's lots of them, lots of beautiful designs, you can just go ahead and pick one of these beautiful designs to get started with with WordPress. And some of these are just really stunning, and they're all free. That's the that's the beauty. Okay. So now you need to create your username and password for WordPress. Shrink this down a little bit so it's easier to see. The number one thing is never make it admin or administrator. Make it something unique. I'm going to call it fullname.com. Create the site. So now it's installing PHP, MyAdmin, databases, and everything so that WordPress can do all the heavy lifting in creating a website. And we're building this website just by clicking around. We're not going to be spending any time writing HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP. No code is necessary. And that's the beauty of WordPress. It allows you to build websites really quickly and easily. I'm going to pause this. This could take about a minute and then start back when it's done. All right, we're done. Great. So now there's two buttons. There's edit the website and go to the dashboard. I'm going to go to the dashboard real quick. Okay, great. So this is the WordPress dashboard. And then if you want to see what your website looks like, click on visit site. And here you have it. This is a blank WordPress website. It's not very mind blowing or beautiful, but this is all going to change really, really quickly. So let's, let's get started. So in the dashboard, there's a couple of house cleaning steps that I like to take before doing anything else. So step number one, usually I like to clean up all this gobbledygook here on the website, kind of make it clean. Next, so in WordPress, you have posts, which are for blog posts, media, which is like um, video and photos. You have pages, comments, appearance, plugins, users, different tools, um, and then different plugins will appear as you and this sidebar as you start using them. So I'm going to go to settings because we want to change some of the general settings. Right now it says as a tagline, it says just another website. You know, I'm going to change this a little bit. Okay. And this domain um, setup here is not our actual domain. That's going to change a little later. Okay. I don't like the t date and time format. It's fine. I could use different time zones if you want to set 
your time zone. You can do that here. I am in Honolulu, Hawaii. So let's try to find that. There we go. And then save changes. Always save your changes. Next, we're going to go to writing. It's fine. Okay, in discussions, I like to uncheck, allow people to submit comments on new posts and comment. Author must fill out name and email. And then uh, keep that checked. So yeah, I like to uncheck this. So otherwise you get a lot of different weird stuff. And inside of permanent links, I like to make this post name. And that's so that you get a clean URL instead of like question mark and numbers and stuff. Post name is probably a good place to, to have it. Save the changes. Great, so I think that's pretty much the basics. So next we're gonna go, so normally what I would do too is by default, WordPress set up a policy page, but you can create like home page, about page, and start creating pages right here. And pages are for pages in your website that aren't necessarily gonna change. So the about us page isn't gonna change. However, the blog, is going to be chronologically ordered as different posts and it will change. So your homepage and your um, blog page could transform all the time, but a static page like a you know FAQ or a contact page isn't going to change much. And so that's that's what pages the difference between pages and posts. Okay. Um, next, I'm going to go to appearance. Because what we're gonna do is load a theme. And there's tons of free themes out there. Um, thousands and thousands, like 5,000 themes, a lot of them free. Um, I'm gonna select Astra. And it's right here, but if it wasn't, you could just type right here, Astra. And it would pop up. It's a very, very pop popular theme. And you'll see why in a minute. So all you have to do is just install it. So themes and plugins are just people work on really awesome code and they share it with the community so people can use it. And then they usually have like some pro features so that they can have a business. But a lot of these things are free too. So we're gonna use one of the starter templates that Astra provides. There's lots of them. So. Okay, so now that we have Asher installed and it is our active theme, I'm gonna get rid of some of these other themes. Just to do some housekeeping. This is the th So 2023 was the theme that you saw before. And now if you look at the homepage, go to visit site on the home page wow it looks even more blank than before but this is all going to change all right so now we go to astra when you go to the astra dashboard there's lots of information you can find there's tutorials but what astra does is it it, it gives you a lot of power and fun functionality it's not just a theme it has lots and lots of awesome features and it just makes um, creating websites a lot more um, simple. And it also comes with integrations for um, Spectra, which they created, Shortcart, which is one of my favorite um, new uh, shopping cart tools. And um, yeah, it's really, really powerful. Okay, so if we wanna look at a starter theme and install a starter theme and then activate it use a starter theme. This way we can have a website that is kind of designed pretty quickly. And here it is. Now there's lots of themes to choose from. 
This is the one that I chose. Kind of has a professional services look. It's really clean. Um, so if you have a logo that you want to prepare at these dimensions, you can place it right here. Uh, we can skip that and do this later. If you want to change the color theme, like maybe you don't like this yellow and you prefer maybe a blue or a green, you can do this. Um, maybe make it red. I'm going to stick with the default colors for now. And also, you can change around the font. I believe I went with Poppins and Leto. I think that looked good to me. So that's what I'm going to go with. Continue. Now, this next step, you put in your name and information. I kind of don't do that. I just kind of skip that. All right, now what it's doing, it's adding the plugins that are required for this theme. It is also loading those pages that I said, normally I create the home page, the about page. It's doing it automatically. So that's why I didn't create it. All right, congratulations. You have it. You can take a look at your new website and here you are. Now let's go to this site and you can see it's pretty fleshed out. And that took maybe half an hour of our time to get to this point. So we went from something that looked kind of very bare bones and blank to a beautiful, robust website in just a matter of minutes. Now the Trick is, okay, I have this website, but this is not exactly what I want it to be. I want it to be something different. Um, and that's the, the key is, is making changes. So I'll show you how easy it is to kind of customize and change the pages. Just hit edit page. And this is one of the reasons why I like to work locally, because now it has to kind of retrieve information from a database on the internet and based on your connection. It can take a minute, but if your database is literally on your computer, there's, there's no internet in, intermediary for loading images or anything. So that's why I like working locally a lot of the time. But here, you see, if you click on this area and you want to make changes, so let's say, your headline isn't about coaching, but it's more about, let's say, um, you are workforce development. So that's what you're more about. You just type right here and it's kind of like Word. You start editing your site, making changes, updating things. So if you want to change this image, you kind of click on it, hit change image. You can choose from stock photos, which there's a whole library of them. And you can Say, let's see, consulting stock photos. So let's say instead you want this image. Okay. Sounds good. And boom. The image has changed. You can also use your own custom image if you want, if you have an image that you would like to use. So um, just a quick tip. Most of the images that you can you can get from Upsplash. It's free images. And let's say you wanted an image. I'll say work from home. That's a good image. And you can see these beautiful images. Take this one for example. You just 
download it. I would do medium and small, not large one, um, to have a balance between quality and file size because you don't want things to take forever to load. Okay. So great. So now I just want to upload a file. So I'll just drag that file that we downloaded and selected. And now it's replaced. And you can replace the images, replace the content in a simple way. And hit update. Now if you view the page, it's about workforce development. A lot of things are you've changed are in here and implemented. So let me show you a little bit more about WordPress and the dashboard now that we have something to a kind of working starting point. Okay, so now inside the dashboard, uh, I'm going to clear up this. It created a form. Um, it added a form plugin for the forms. And I just want to take that from the dashboard. Now, if you go to pages, remember that was blank before and it only had privacy and policy. Now you have the home page and notice it says front page is home page. This is really important. If this wasn't appearing on the template that you chose for some reason, you can go to settings, then reading. And a lot of time by default, using your latest posts because WordPress started out as a blogging platform is by default the setting for the home page. But you can set it to be a static page, and we discussed what static pages are, and select from a drop down of the static pages that you have. And for me, it's home. And Astra did that automatically when it created this, the, the theme, the starter theme. So I'm going to close all this stuff up just to reduce clutter. Great. Okay. So I made some changes. You might not have to go through this, but okay. Right now, we just click on production site and you see this is the live site. Now you may not want to do this. You don't want to make changes and to a live site. That's where a staging site comes in. So if you hit create, it'll create a separate site that you can use to work on while your live site isn't affected. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna pause this while this takes effect. It's gonna take a few minutes. Okay, great. So now our staging and production sites are on connected and synced. So how does this work? So this is an exact duplicate of the site. One is the staging site. And one is the production site. Now, why would you do that? Well, what if you wanted to make changes while the site is live and say it's taking in orders and customers you don't want to make changes and start typing things on the live site while people are on the site. So you can make the changes on the staging site, make a lots of different little changes and then hit sync sites. And then those changes will be pushed to the live site. That's a really good thing to have. Um, and with the WordPress hosting here at Instant Edit, it, it, it gives you staging um, capabilities and the sync capabilities. I think that's really helpful, especially for as a web designer, um, to be able to just click a button to have both production and staging. So I really love that feature. Um, let's continue. I think we're in a good place. For now, one thing, one other plugin I would want to add here so let's go to edit the site and this is logging into the dashboard 
Now we're going to talk a little bit about plugins. Plugins are bits of code that will increase the functionality of WordPress. And this is the real power of WordPress. Pretty much, let's say you wanted to have a booking system where you could book hotel reservations because you're a hotel. Instead of building that code from scratch, you can search for a booking system plugin that's already built. Let's say you want to add a shopping cart. Well, Commerce is a really good one, and so is Shortcart. There's tons and tons of um, plugins that will just do amazing things that you cannot even believe. And yeah, they just keep getting updated every day. So right now we're gonna get a plugin, which I kind of use on all my sites. It's CMP, and it stands for Coming Soon and Maintenance Plugin, which I love this plugin. Pretty much install it everywhere. And I'm gonna activate it. And so what this does now, I have coming soon right here. So I go to CMP basic settings. And you're just gonna choose this third one and activate it. Although the first one is pretty good too. Then I change the content. Maybe add an image. Select one from the ones that we have. We'll go with this one. Great. It already has that overlay created. And this. Hit save all changes. Ooh, actually, I think that it adds a countdown timer. I do want it to disable that. Actually, I'll show you what it looks like just so that you can know what it looks like. If this is something that you want. Save all changes. And then you can preview what this coming soon page looks like. I think it's kind of weird that it's cutting off her face right there. And this countdown timer also is kind of weird. It's not what I want for my purposes. So I'm gonna pick a different image. Go with this. And I'm going to remove the countdown timer, but although if you wanted to change it, you're just pretty self-explanatory. All right, now if we preview the site and you go to ownyourfullname.com, this is what you'll see instead of seeing kind of like a work in progress. So I think this is pretty good for a basic workshop. It just gives you a basic idea of how to create a website. It shouldn't be own your full name. It should be actually your full name. And these should be images of you. and what you do and you kind of have a sense of how you can change and customize the content to match the look and feel of the business that you have. And you you see how there's so many themes to choose from. Even if you don't like this one, you can get another one. Um, and you, in a review, you know that if you wanted to change, like let's say this book consultation is kind of getting cut off, you wanted to change that now you know that you probably want to go to the site and customize it, right? Because that's where you can adjust things like the headers and the footers and while the page content is at a page. So these are the basics of WordPress. Um, there's so much you can learn and do. I would put this long name book is enough <laughs> and uh, make that change so now you know the basics of wordpress and how it works and how to actually make changes and do different things and uh, yeah and have a website working in just about an hour um, you can have something um, obviously you're going to need to put more time and effort into it and change all the content of all the pages to match your brand before taking the coming soon page off, but you can have a website within an hour that would really take weeks and weeks of effort to code from scratch. This would take a long time to get right and a very experienced designer or developer to do. So with WordPress, it makes it very easy. 
Thank you very much. So right now you have a sense of what WordPress can do for you. And if you want to learn more, just follow the link in the description below. Subscribe, like for more. My name is Edwin Rogers, and I'm going to be bringing you more valuable tutorials. The next ones are going to be focused more on specific industries. So like, for example, if you're a real estate broker, you might want a page with some features that are connected to real estate. Or maybe you're a dentist, you might want to be able to book um, dental appointments on your website. These kinds of things. So the next few workshops will be more tailored towards specific industries to make it very helpful. Um, and regardless, you could still learn from each and every one. I would definitely love to work on someone's actual website too. Um, take an hour and work on their website. So if you want, if you know someone who website needs some help, needs some love, and they need this free workshop, please forward this workshop to them so that they can build the website for themselves and reach out to me if you know, if you need help with web design, design and development. Um, again, my company is instantandit.com. That's what we do. Love to help people on their websites and on their journeys. All right. Thank you so much for your time.